chapter 9 decimal 2 I have already explained this chapter in the previous video today I am going to explain that how to find the reasonables of addition subtraction multiplication and division like here on page number 34 we have the question show your working in space provide check if your answers are reasonable how we are going to check that the answers are reasonable or not so let's check the answers are reasonable or not we have 4.28 plus 2.68 so the answer is 6.91 now to check the answer is reasonable or not we are going to take this answer and then subtract the answer from any of the number from 4.28 or from 2.63 now here you can see I have take this answer 6.91 and this number 4.28 1 cannot be subtracted from 8 so we take the borrow 8 11 11 minus 8 is 3 8 minus 2 is 6 decimal point will be on and then 6 minus 4 is 2 so the answer is 2.63 as you can see 2.63 it means it is reasonable it is a correct answer so by this method we can find all the reasonables of addition let's check another one here I have taken number D as an example 15.4 plus 9.68 so now the answer is 25.08 I am taking this answer 25.08 and this this number in the first I have taken the first number but now let's check with the second number now we have to subtract 8 minus 8 is 0 so here I have taken number D as in check for the reasonable 25.08 and I have taken the second number because in the first question I have taken the first number 9.68 8 minus 8 is 0 we cannot subtract 0 and 6 so we are going to take the borrow 5 is a smaller than 9 so from 1 15 is 14 and then 10 10 minus 6 is 4 decimal point is on the decimal point place 9 minus 4 is 5 and then 1 so you can see 15.40 as you can see that it is 15.40 so the answer is reasonable so you can check the addition reasonable with the same method now here we have to check the reasonable answer of the subtraction 15 minus 8 minus 8.9 15.8 minus 8.9 so the answer is 6.9 let's check we are going to take the answer 6.9 and we are going to take 8.9 9 plus 9 is 18 8 here 1 on the next number 6 plus 8 14 14 plus 1 15 and the decimal point is on the same place so the answer is 15.8 which is here it means the reason answer is reasonable let's have another example 60 51.97 so we are going to take 51.97 and the answer 8.03 now we have to add both the numbers 3 plus 7 10 9 plus 1 10 8 plus 1 9 9 plus 1 10 and then 5 plus 1 6 and the decimal point here so the answer is 60 after if we have the decimal point and the numbers are 0 it will not be considered so the answer is 60 this is a reasonable answer page number 40 let's check the reasonable answer of multiplication here we have 20.7 multiplied by 4 so here we have to find the reasonable answer of the multiplication to find the reasonable answer of multiplication we divide the number 20.7 multiplied by 4 
the answer is 82.8 so we have to divide this 82.8 with this 4 let's check 82.8 divided by 4 so here we have 4 to the 8 then we have 2 here so 2 is not in table of 4 so we have to take this 8 as well so before taking two numbers here we are going to add a 0 and take this decimal point here now we can take this 8 here 4 7 is 28 so the answer is 20.7 here you can see 20.7 let's see another example 3 multiplied by 28.7 is 86.7 now we have to take this 86.7 and divide this with 3 3 to the 6 2 and 6 3 8 the 24 2 and then this decimal point will go here 7 3 9 the 27 so the answer is 28.9 here you can see so we can solve the remaining reasonable of multiplication with the same method page number 44 now here we have to find the reasonable of division check if your answers are reasonable so to check this we have to multiply the answer with the given dividing number 1.9 is the answer and 5 is the number given 5 9 is a 45 5 here and 4 on the next number 5 1 is a 5 plus 4 is 9 so the answer is 9.5 let's see another example 4.29 multiply by 7 7 9 is a 63 7 2 is a 14 14 plus 6 20 7 4 so 28 29 30 30.03 30 here you can see so it means to find the reasonables of addition subtraction and multiplication we use the opposite sign for addition we subtract the answer to find reasonable for subtraction we add the number for multiplication we divide and for division we multiply so this is the method to find the reasonable answer